Amen. Go get your Bibles out. We will be in Ephesians chapter 2. Ladies, thank you for that. If you're watching on the video after uh, it's been processed, I, I'm sorry because you missed a tremendous blessing there in that special because uh, we trim the videos down uh, at some point. Uh, Dan, leave that in. On the video, when you trim it, can you leave the special? Yeah, yeah. Amen. All right. Amen. Uh, we have a new series. I did send slides. I don't normally do this. Um, I have Dan normally create things for me. I'll go to that one. I, I have a kind of a cartoonish type um, slide presentation for a reason. It's actually a very serious topic. And to try to bring some uh, humor to it, I, I, my wife found this and I thought it really portrayed what we want to try to get across today is the counterfeit concepts of confused Christianity. And, and those two words, counterfeit and confusion, have a tendency to go hand in hand. Anybody who has ever traveled overseas, Thailand or other places where you're going to do tourist uh, events, they have the Grand Palace in Thailand, for instance. And it is very deliberately marked on a map, but as you approach, you have these individuals who are speaking a mixture of Thai and English, and they're telling you, oh, no, no, the palace is closed. And you see other people going in, but they look official, and they're telling you, oh, no, no, they can go in because of certain reasons, but you, but you can't. And I've, I've, we've sent people there, and they, they end up going to, with this guy, to a different tourist destination. And almost all the time, it is a place in which they're sell, selling false, fake jade jewelry. And those people end up there and they take this tour of this touristy place because that's what it's portrayed to them as be. They're very confused. They don't know how they ended up from the Grand Palace into this jade jewelry place. And before they know it, they walk out of there spending money on counterfeit items. Confusion and counterfeit always seem to go hand in hand. And for many people who are looking for spiritual understanding and enlightenment, they end up in their confusion falling for counterfeit concepts that the world portrays. Many folks today will end up out on the internet as they are looking for truth, and they might put something in, Christianity, and what will come up if you search that in YouTube? All sorts.